Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> I've got a really fun one. Um, <laughs> Great. So, do you know the little kid, the little geezer? He was a... Uh, Fabio. No, si, balasi. Yeah, Fabio. That song is originally sung by Sam Paguita, oh. who she is considered to be the, fi- the queen of Filipino rock. Fabulous. So, I thought we would check this out. We know, we know nothing about her. So, okay, let's I love discover. names, bro. Yep. Discovery, discovery time. She was kicking ass during the 80s and the 90s. Nice, nice, nice. Nosi Balasi. Okay, let's go. Oh, damn. Get your hands together, everybody. Come on. Hey, there you are. Radio Republic. <sighs> this is great. We actually don't know that many uh, female rock singers from the 80s, 90s. It's a fabulous song. Think about it. Dude, she's got a voice on her. She's got the attitude of a rock star. She reminds me of, do you know Johnny Cash? <laughs> Actually, yeah. yeah. I see that. No, see. No, see. Balassi. <laughs> Everyone at home right now doing the same. See, no. What, what's the word? Na, 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 na. See, like. La. No, see. No, see. Balassi. <laughs> I love what live music. Vibe. Okay, just a moment. Think about I it. I love live it. music so bloody much. This is where I start to feel freaking nostalgic with Filipino music, which makes absolutely no freaking sense to me in my brain. There's no correlation whatsoever. I've never heard this music before. A lot of people ask, why do we like this stuff? Because um, it's obviously good new people coming to the channel and stuff. I think if you've been in the channel, you know. But yeah, do explain that because... It's weird to explain, I guess. Okay, but this just brings me back to the years where my dad used to have a rock band and his original track sounded very much like this. Like, it, they, they were a rock progressive uh, in, in the genre, but the chord progressions and the arrangements itself and, like, even the way of performing, it's very similar to what my dad and his band would would uh, do. So to, to me, I think to us, it's very... Because we grew up with them touring and we touring with them and eventually moving to do our own things later on in life. But uh, it's very nostalgic. Yeah. It's it, it just hits a very nostalgic spot because we grew up singing songs that sounded very freaking similar to this. And, and it's like, the, the, the rock how? scene in the Philippines, especially in the 90s. Um, it's so similar, to the, similar to the Hispanic. The, the Hispanic rock of the of the 90s and as well. In case you didn't know, we are from Venezuela. It's really funny because I think we presume everyone does watch. Ah, no. They're the same people. You can never presume, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, we're very yeah. lucky. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not from, like, London or, or Britain no. or Europe. We're actually, actually from South America. we don't even speak English as our first language. No, it's, it's a second. Just, yeah. Um, and this type of stuff, this type of sound, the Nossi Balassi kind of mm. structure of the song, um, it's very similar to what you hear in Latin alternative rock scene and Hispanic yeah, Latin rock American, as well. Yeah, Latin American rock. So if you listen to uh, uh, So the Stereo, it yep. has a similar sound They're to from this. Argentina, from Argentina. Right? But again, the Latin American scene in the 90s had a very similar sound approach to rock. I think that's which... why this sparks this uh, nostalgia. And uh, I feel like I'm in the car with father just reviewing the mixtapes. Yeah, you know what it I mean? does. It's it does feel like it. I bizarre. actually kind of feel like I'm watching the rehearsals. You yep. know, it's so wild. Bro, this is freaking fabulous. And also, it's funny how in the Philippines, classics are picked up by the younger generation so oh, much. Oh yeah, it starts with the karaoke and then it's ingrained in their in their beans after. She's got a voice in her. Yeah, yeah, 
That's freaking cool. I really she's, like her vocal section. She's Olga esque It well. is, yeah. it is. It's a bit Olga Tanyon made rock. Yep. Olga Tanyon is a very popular, damn popular. Merengue singer. Yep. It has a similar vocal tonality, actually. Very, very close to it. Yes, get a She sold out the Araneta Coliseum a few times. Wow! I think that that fits like twenty thousand people, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. How sick! Dude, is she, she is a mom. She is so freaking cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nice arrangement. Because I think the only other female singers we know from, well, they're not, are they from the 90s? I guess, but like singing rock is maybe ages. Yeah, that's, that's what I, I immediately related it um, to. Yeah. Who else do we know female wise? I, I think I that's don't it. Think, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite crazy. Mm. Now we know some Pagit. Oh, shout nice. out to the band. Very nice. Maraming salamat. Sampa, why the fuck did she say her name? Nope. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's one. That's one to remember. And this is Keep this rocking. isn't in the eighties. This this footage or the nineties. This is like two thousands. You know. Yeah, I, um, I figure as much. But she's been doing this for a while. Just uh, think about it. This was published seven years ago. This was in two thousand nineteen. Yeah, two thousand nineteen. It wow. seems here. What do you mean 2019 was like seven years ago? <laughs> that, no, it wasn't seven years yeah. ago. It, they, they said 19-year-old song. Ah, okay, okay. Apparently. So right. it came out into 2000s. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. This comment section sometimes are really confusing. Yeah, you And then you I end up really... saying wrong stuff. <laughs> so not from now on, that's what I'm saying. Source, trust me, bro. <laughs> trust me, it's the internet. Reddit. <laughs> let, us, let us know um, what other female musicians um, or female singers, especially from the rock alternative yeah. scene or the rock scene. Ballet is a big rock I fan. I would love, I would love that. Again, I grew up listening to rock and from, from Latin America and in uh, from america as well so like united states and and bro, british you, a lot of british rock you went from rock to like metal, heavy bro. metal i like, did she went from like i don't know so the stereo from argentina oh, yeah that's quite mellow it's quite nice it's quite nice mana you know and then that's very pop and then she goes <laughs> disturbed <laughs> bring me the horizon <laughs> out of nowhere and then we're like what the f <laughs> Pull Panda, my belly. she went punk oh no but punk no my punk era was very nice i actually i kind of go Back Imagine, look era. at this little face. Oh, How yeah. can she go punk? Or how it can was, she go metal? <laughs> she it, was, it was a good, it was a good era.